Hey everybody, what's going on? Mr. Tony of the Dead here, and I have another movie review for everybody out there. This one's on a movie called Deadly Manor. This is from Arrow Video USA, and it's directed by Jose Ramon Larraz. This movie follows this group of kids, and they're on their way to this lake to have, you know, a good time. And on the way there, they decide they're going to stop at this abandoned mansion and spend the night. You know, just because the drive is a little further than, than they expected. And while they're there, uh, they realize they're not the only ones there. There's weird stuff going on. Like, they get to the house, and there is this like monument of a broken down car in the front there's coffins in the basement and they find scalps inside of a closet so something weirds going on and they don't know what it is like I said this is directed by Jose Ramon Larraz who also did Edge of the Axe and Vampires and um, not Vampires the John Carpenter one the Vampires with a Y and uh, you know this is a late like you know end of the uh, era slasher era movie Origi originally went under savage lust from us vhs and uh i can i know that cover and everything i don't have the movie i don't think i do i'm um, pretty sure i don't but uh it, it yeah, went under savage lust and um the movie is like it's it's pretty neat like i i i didn't hate the movie but there were some things i didn't really um like about it like I, I thought the kills were too quick and pretty similar a lot of them were pretty much the same as the other one um, you can see so, like the knife bend a few times because they like slow motioned it um, some of the scenes were fine there were a lot of um, off off scene um, kills off screen kills and uh, like somebody would get their throat slashed and they would start just they're walking on the stairs and they fall over it's like you don't see them get killed or anything uh, that's another thing there's a lot of throat slash in this which is fine but like it's all kind of the same and they don't know the killers behind them they turn around and they're dead it's kind of like that and um, I just thought that was a little lazy in a way this was I believe uh, Jose's final film uh, or at least final film in the genre but um you know, I thought the setting was cool. They, it's like a lot of the stuff in the house, the the, the furniture, like that was already all there. Uh, they were saying about how the stairs and that were like, uh, you know, kind of felt like you were gonna, you know, could die. Like it could, it was very like rickety and stuff. Uh, you know, it's so it was actual like abandoned house, and it really does look like in its heyday, it probably was a beautiful house. It's a big huge house and there's like you know these bushes in the front and there's like the woods around it like there's a big open front yard and everything but it looked beautiful if that was like uh, like fixed up or or anything it would it'd be a great great house but um it was just you know the setting like i said was cool and the whole reasoning behind what is going on is you know is okay but like i said the kills were just kind of eh. and then there was like this other story they they picked up this hitchhiker guy who um is kind of mysterious and here he's actually like running from the law and you don't find out more that much more about him you don't find out why he's running from the law uh he's like i said he's very mysterious there's kind of like this love interest between him and this other guy uh his girlfriend so like but they don't really go any further with that it kind of gets cut short uh it's there's just some things that i think were cut too early in that that i, I th think they could have kept going on with or like because i wanted to know more about this hitchhiker and and it just seemed like the whole time he had this connection with the house like like some reason i was thinking to myself he's probably a ghost or or somebody that got killed around there and now he hitchhikes you know and now he gets them to go to this house i don't know i thought that w that would be something but it's not and uh you know there's there's a it's a a fun group of kids you know i say kids but they're you know old enough to drink but I, like they're teenagers or whatever but uh there's a lot of lame and i say lame in a, in a good way because it's funny uh, like a lot of like little one-liners at each other that they bust each other's balls a lot and and uh it it made me laugh you know pretty pretty funny and 
I don't know, it just, it's just something was missing with it, I guess. And the way this ends, um, they wanted to have a sequel to it, but uh, I guess Jose went back to Spain, and they, he never talked to so-and-so again, and it never got made. So a, a sequel would have been cool to see for this, too, you know. Um, again, I'm not going to say how it ends exactly or anything, but, you know, I haven't seen this before. I have seen, I don't think I own Savage Less. I've seen the cover, and I never watched a trailer before. By the way, if you watch the trailer, there's a, a trailer on here, the original Savage Lust VHS trailer, but it's cleaned up. Um, it is spoil heavy. Like, the very first thing you see is like the ending of the movie. So, I'm just warning you if you do watch the trailer, if you want to go ahead and watch it, it you're gonna it's it's spoiler heavy so just don't watch it I would say wait and see the movie first and then watch it but uh, I will say this the movie looked fantastic like Edge of the Axe it looked really good and I'm saying I'm comparing it to that because it's his movie as well but it looks fantastic this movie it sounded good captions were all good for me and I always had captions on everything was was you know great but this thing this was cleaned up so nice and it says it came out in 89 um, but I believe he says something about like about 90s kids so I think it's supposed to have come out in 1990 I think it was filmed in 89 came out in 90 but I believe IMDB says in 1989 so I don't know but on here it says 19 it says 1989 so I don't know why they say 90s kids so I don't know but I thought that was kind of strange. So I'm just going to say this is a 1990. It's kind of weird in the house too because um, there's pictures all over the place of this like beautiful woman. Kind of like um, they had the same picture in the car of and the like broken down car. Like kind of like a monument, like a shrine to her. And the, her pictures were all over the house naked and stuff. Uh, in a tasteful way, not like a pornographic way, but like a, a posing, you know, modeling kind of way. And a uh, very beautiful woman. And, you know, it, w it was just a strange setting. And one girl in the beginning got this bad vibe from the place and she didn't want to go there. So she like kind of left. But that's another thing too. There was people that I would have liked to like seen more or had a bigger role. And especially like her. And... She just like goes off and whatever happens to her, but like they don't. It's like very early on, and it's, it, I don't know. I don't know what the purpose of her was, you know, in a movie. Like I think she, they could have done more with her. Keep her with a group of kids, you know. It's always fun to see a group of teenagers and then like them get killed. This sounds hair horrible, but get killed one by one uh, in horrific ways, and then who is going to be the survivor? to stop it all or whatever you know uh, or survivors it's a, it's it is what it is it's, it's a slasher kind of genre thing you know it's and unfortunately this was late in the in the uh, era so I don't think this got a lot of love you know as much love as, as it as it deserves because I do like the movie I did like it but I just think the, the whole very like the ending was a little a little strange a lot of too much talking and uh i don't know it's just you have to see it to to know what i'm talking about but anyway i'll show you now what's in here and here you have the cover this is newly commissioned artwork by adam rebeles i don't know how you say it but uh that's uh his artwork there and then you turn it around you got this other artwork which is cool it's almost like the other one but you know this is a real photograph all the other ones you know art uh, not saying that this isn't art but you know what I mean this is like a, like a painting or drawing or whatever and this is you know photo but you know they're both they're both not bad um, you got the font here on the side for the newer font or artwork and that and you have this one I like this one better than this but this one is bigger and stands out more but you know whatever I think either one would be okay um to be honest i don't know which one i would put on i do like this one but i look at it real quick and it just kind of looks like ronald mcdonald <laughs> in a way but uh you know no offense to the actress 
you know, I know that's your hair and everything, but at a quick glance it looks like like Ronald. So I guess I would have to say I would switch to this one. And there are the special edition contents. If you want to pause it now and check them out, you can. And here you have the Blu-ray, which is region A, B, and C. And here is a booklet. And like I said, here you have a booklet, and it got this cool little mask here that the uh, person wears. And then you know, it got the, the reveal. See, even this is a little spoilerish, uh, but it doesn't really matter to be honest. If you've seen the movie, um, but yeah, you got you know about the transfer, casting credit, you know, casting crew, and that. And there's the back. So yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much all I'm gonna say about that. See, I switched it already there. I think that looks pretty good to be honest. You know. Um, I like the other one, but I think I'm going to stick with this one. I, this is the one I'd pick. But, uh, yeah, um, again, even the booklet was a little spoilerish, and I'm very sorry if that ruined for anybody, but uh, it doesn't really matter, to be honest, because it's on the cover. Uh, that's a lot of times with some of these, you know, movies that they've been out, out for 40 years or so, 30, 40 years, or even longer, and then they have, like, the reveal at the end um, of the movie, or you know like what the killer looks like um, on the covers of them like uh, what one was that it was a uh, house of the cemetery you uh, from from another company um, you see the killer on the cover and I didn't say it but you know if you see him before you know and again this is out for you know almost uh, 30 years but uh, or 31 years depending but like you know I didn't know that but seeing this, you know, it kind of like gave it a little, but again, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. You know, these kids are going in the house and they're not dying from natural causes, so who cares? But anyway, yeah, Deadly Manor, I'd say check it out. Uh, honestly, I don't know how much I'd watch this, how much I, I'd probably watch it again down the line. But if I wanted to put it in right away, nah, I probably wouldn't, you know. But uh, yeah, I thought it was okay. I thought it was an okay movie, and uh, who knows, maybe if I watch it again sometime, I'll like it even, I'll like it more. But for right now, it's just okay. And the special edition has some interviews on it, some commentaries. Not a ton of stuff, but, you know, decent stuff. At least there's something. So, yeah, that's it. So, yeah, that's all I'm going to say about Deadly Manor. But if you could please give this video a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, hit the little notification bell. Follow me on any one of the social media links in the description box below. If you're interested in purchasing this, I'll put a link below for that. Also, I will put the trailer below for everybody. But like I said before, proceed with caution. It is heavily, heavily containing spoilers. Well, that's it, everybody. Thanks for watching, and talk to you later. Bye.